off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay <sighs> We haven't done a road trip <laughs> in a long time I guess we did it over the holidays But man, hi no, no, I'm not. I'm talking to them. I'm talking to my other, my other half. <laughs> uh, we snoozed twice. It is six o'clock exactly. We were supposed to be on the road by now. It's okay. We have plenty of time. We're giving ourselves plenty of time. But um, I don't know. Pretty tired. I get to go back to sleep. I feel bad for him. <laughs> Um, but I'm just feeling a quick, fresh with my face because if I'm in the car for a long time, I sit and I pick any little thing, especially my little, my little chin hair, but I'm not going to get myself ready to go for the day until we're almost there, if not there. Um, we are going to Boise, Idaho today. Um, we are meeting my sister and her husband. And we're going to a restaurant called Barbacoa. I washed my hair last night. But I'm going to straighten it in the car before we... They're propped up on my water bottle. That's why I'm <laughs> having to scooch down. Okay, my battery. I look so scary. <laughs> um, my battery died upstairs. I've got my little list I have if I take everything that's on the counter right here I've got my water bottle my toothbrush my sweatshirt I need to get my pillow I have my blanket we have a suitcase um, I have shoes I'm gonna check this list here in a second I'm gonna go upstairs and get my pillow and um, we have kombucha in the fridge to get for my sister but let me show you I've got all of this right here that needs to go. The flowers will go in last. I'm gonna make a bag out of these in the car. We've got his work bag here. This is his jacket. I don't know if he needs this jacket. Maybe he will. Um, and a sweatshirt. All right, well. And a hiking bag. And not a hiking bag. I guess he uses that to run with. So we're, uh, we left a cute little note for the kids. Um, I think we're good. I think we're gonna pack it all into the car here. All right, got my notebook to go into my bag and I've got the flowers. Oh, hey, can you get me like a bunch of paper towel and get it wet? I have to wrap these up and put them in a bag. All right, he just put air in the tires and we have the car packed up. It's a weird feeling to have like the hatchback situation to not have everything like packed down inside the trunk with it locked but we'll be with the car 100 percent of the time when we're driving suitcase box of all the stuff he has two nice shirts on hangers then i've got my plants i've wrapped them in um cold wet paper towels and stuck them back in their bags and then that bag has our bathroom bags in it i've got all of our shoes and jason's bag packed underneath there it's kind of filled up there and an emergency like blanket underneath there otherwise I think we're ready shut that guy back here on this seat just because I don't need to have everything like stuffed in the back um, are our two pillows I will definitely be going to sleep <laughs> maybe if he lets me drive um, he will want to take a nap with his pillow and then I've got my car bag back here because right now I don't really need it and it'll just be in the way. It's got my computer bag, uh, you know, my computer and all my notebooks and stuff. But then this is my little travel pouch that I have inside there as well as two Pringles. Pringles at gas stations are like $4 and at the grocery store they're $1.50. So I always get them ahead of time. And then I've got an extra little charging cord but I've got my power pack this is my power pack. This is like my my go-to. Oh, it came unplugged. But I've got power pack, but that's mainly for when we're there because we can charge our phones from the car up front. You just set it on there. So, 
Jason's gonna back his car out. We wanted my car warm, so we left it in the garage last night. And we're gonna get on the road. This is the only time I'm likely gonna be driving. And I say Jason likely won't let me. When it comes to road trip driving, he's a, he's a driving hog. He doesn't, he becomes like safety man. He doesn't want um, me to have to drive. He doesn't want any um, anything to happen to us. He'd rather have it be his fault if anything does. Um, he's just very, he's very, um, I, he just is very protective. That's the word, not anything else. He's very protective when it comes to road trip driving. So I, when we're together, I hardly ever drive. And I don't mind, because I get to sleep and look at my phone. <laughs> but if he does get tired, I'm gonna tell him to grab a Celsius in case he wants to stop and get a, or he maybe wants to get a five hour energy drink. So. Okay, we're getting a little sustenance before we get on the road. If there's one thing Tesla could do better, it's cup holders. And I, I've looked at getting an extra cup holder for this little console section here. Um, anyway, because we need more cup holders in this car. Got myself a hash brown and a drink. See, look down here. You can't put drinks down there. That's from leftover snacks from like all the driving I do. And then I found these honey roasted peanuts. I'm just leaving those in my car. I look wonderful. I am gonna do myself up at some point on the road, but the honey roasted peanuts are from Kaylee's camp out. And I just figured I'd put them in my car. They're good oh. sources of protein. Uh, yeah. Large coat. Yeah, just one of these and. Might as well stay awake for a little while. All right, Jake? Yeah. He's already got his music playing. Don't you think we've had enough?
made it to our first little Tesla station. And we have, how much do we have left? Jace, what percent do we have left? Oh, like 33, 35 percent. Yeah, we could have made it to Baker with 13 percent battery had we not charged. But like, you know, why risk We're it? We're still getting used to how this kind of works, but yeah. we don't go, we usually would gas up in Baker City anyways. I know, that's when we would normally stop. As it is, we've already gone to Target and gone to the bathroom. <laughs> there wasn't a gas station over here on this side of Yakima, so we just went into Target because you know you can find a decent bathroom there. Um, but you make your stops first and then you charge. I don't need to have that on. We're here for, let's see, how long are we here? 20 minutes. It tells you how long you're gonna need to sit here and charge, but I believe, yep, you can close out of that and I can go and choose something to watch while it charges. Oh, well, it said enough charge to continue your trip. We only charged it to 76% um, because it's another 20 minutes or so to charge it to 100%. Not even, it didn't feel like long enough. Now we'll be at 21% when we get to Pendleton and we're gonna be hungry in Pendleton. I've only had the hash brown and that Coke. Um, Cause I knew I would, being up this early and not that, I mean, eight o'clock isn't much different than, well, I guess it is 5.30 and eight, that's a, that's a bit of a difference. But I get a little nauseous. My medication makes me a little bit nauseous before I have a chance to eat in the morning. Sometimes the um, just not ready to kind of take it. Yeah, and that's why I let, I have the nauseous moment and then, and I don't like eat for another like hour or two. But it's not as comfortable being nauseous in a car. And I didn't want to feel that way. Nobody, um, nobody wants to be nauseous in a car. No, not with actual, like, additional motion on top of that. No bueno. So I had the hash brown just to get a little bit in me. So we're going to go another, what, two hours? Yeah, two says. hours and eight minutes. So probably about an hour I'll and 45 be, minutes. Yeah, that'll be good to stop and have something to eat. We'll grab something to eat and then go to the charging station um, and sit and eat and... Well, actually, we can charge it there, walk to, because it's the casino. Oh, that's right. Now we know, like, the area is, like, where the charging stations yeah, are we'll at. Yeah, go over to the casino for... So we're, we kind of know what we have in the surrounding areas. So that's helpful. gonna do try a little something here um, we're gonna turn on the autopilot we don't want to do it in the passes and we had a lot of fog on the other road all right oh my but you have to have your hands on it I know because it doesn't have to be ready I but think is, this is full driving is it gonna make you go well, the actual speed limit or can it no, just no, go what you want it to be but now let me see if I do signal will it go yeah okay or does it want to stay I'm here? Not sure. Oh, is that you? No, the car did it. Why? Okay. Corrected certified. The car did that. The car I'm changed sure. lanes? I'm not. Oh, okay. Now, okay. It switched to just cruise control. The car will change lanes, but it went into cruise control. So now I think if I go, now it's fully driving. But please keep your hands okay, it wants to on fit. the wheel. Okay, so we are around like semi trucks and, so and RVs. It's now starting to speed up. That's crazy. So it's just doing this it on its down, and then it was once that got over, and then it started to speed back up to the speed we usually wanted. Yeah. I'm not doing anything. So we're still around some cars, but it got a little bit more congested. So I'm curious if it'll stay because we're coming up to more traffic up here if we like catch up to it if it's i mean it will it well, will slow back down i think the one time it felt like cars might come over so it gave us a warning yeah plate, and it kind of slowed down to be ready yeah it never came over so then it sped back up yeah then when it came up on the car it slowed down matched it then when the car got over it sped back up right all that other, i'm only keeping my hand there because it tells you to do that yeah but i don't have any control yeah. And we went around a gentle band. It also um, optimizes your battery usage. Like this has gone up to percent 
um, you can't see it. This um, was at 11% um, that we would end at by the time we get to our next charging station. But when we op when we went to the autopilot, it's optimizing the battery better. Well, I think it just drives more consistent. Like yeah. Well, that's that's optimizing the battery. It just yeah. It's, it's a so driver. Right. Just on the pedal. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> what were you going to say? Slow, slowing down again for this car. I was just going to say, like, you said this was like a female car, but the autopilot must be a man because it's doing a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> totally kidding. I think I need to get behind the wheel <laughs> and show who wears the pants in this car. So, Ashley is homesick today. She has whatever Chelsea has had. And so Kaylee's home all day today, um, and she has like online classes and stuff. And so it's fine, but I, we were in bad reception when I found out she had stayed home from school. And so I couldn't email the, the attendance office. I don't want to call, but uh, I, so I, did, I couldn't email. I wasn't getting reception. And so I just barely have a chance this, right now to send an email. <laughs> And I was doing voice control, but he wouldn't stop talking. No, I said one thing because it popped <laughs> up as a message. But this is what it caught. Okay. So I said, Ashley Brown is out sick today. Please excuse her ass and turn it first. <laughs> yes, no. You're, You're the one who said it. it. I didn't say ass. I don't know where I heard it from, but it's not me. I said I, it was, uh, it told me to grab the steering wheel for assistance or something. So assistance. Uh, assistance. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> You're not going to be on the PTA with that kind of text. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I need to autocorrect this yeah. real quick. Second stop is for Subway. And um, then we'll run over and we went to the bathroom here. And then we're going to go over and start charging while we eat our sandwiches. Subway is harder to eat on the, like while you're driving for Jason. Yeah. So I'm glad we have like a set time to sit and eat it. I have been closing my eyes and listening to my book and um, I probably fell asleep a little bit a few a few seconds there oh my little my little camera is broken temporarily oh just this little thing oh. pops off my little camera lens cover um, we're starting to get to know all of the stops yeah we know the we're like okay I know where the bathroom is this one we can actually stop and go to the bathroom at the same place we have uh, I'm trying to hold the cover thing onto my camera. Sorry about that. There's A and W. Which is awesome. We introduced we the kids to, like to A and W hours. last time we were. I know we can't eat anymore. We can't eat right now. Um, because we have to be hungry. We're going to a steak house for dinner. Um, but I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. We only have a five minute charge. We could charge more than that. We're just gonna get it charged up so we don't have to worry about it in Boise. We we'll charge. Yeah, because we gotta get the twin. twin. We'll figure it out. But lately things have been the same. I have done my makeup and I forget every time how dry the air is here. Um, I'm hoping my makeup lasts for the next couple hours. <laughs> it is so dry, like it's, it's insane. We've been sitting here at the Boise supercharging station and it's the busiest I've one we've seen. I've never seen it, it's loaded. Every, as soon as every someone pulls out, someone pulls in. Okay, quick before the song comes back on. We're at Eddie Bauer, we're at the mall, killing time. But I found this cute, like lightweight jacket to wear when I'm walking in these next few months of colder weather, but I want to get outside with a hood, but it can wick away sweat and a little bit of, of any text in water, rain. I don't know. It's very lightweight. Thinking about getting it. All right, we've spent time getting steps in. I did get that shirt. And now we're going to go change the clothes in the car. <laughs> All right, we changed in the car. I have a cute little shirt on. He's got a polo. And uh, I even changed my shoes. Yeah, me too. Yep. Because <laughs> my feet were all sweaty and stuff. I, I know. I changed my socks. Yeah, we kind of had the car, you know, just like 
car casual going on. Oh, we're going over there. So we are going to a place called Barbacoa. I can't remember what the cu cuisine type is. All I know is it's meat. It's Brazilian. Is it Brazilian? Yeah, that's Barbacoa cuisine. Okay, I didn't know that. So um, we're gonna hang out with my sister and her husband and have a good time. Okay, first of all, this is our view. I mean, like, if they got the best table, I don't know about that. Then we have like a fire pit right in front of us. You wanna say hi? Can I show you? Can I show you? No, I'm not. <laughs> you're gonna be you're gonna be the headless husband. You can be on the video. Just pretend like it's Captain's Log. Captain's Log. <laughs> you guys recognize Andy and Josh from their wedding video. So we're having a good time. They're like dressed festive for the night, but we're gonna sit and enjoy our dinner. Uh, don't we win. I got this. That's, oh a, that's a bit of pepper. Lots. We have to. Oh, you. 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 Oh, and this here is our green peppercorn and cognac sauce. Are you like any on top of your seat? Yeah. The sauce here, this is around 23. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't tell you too. Regan's Idaho. Heated up between 600 and 800 degrees. <laughs> Like a little breezy out. Right now what I'm pouring on is our green peppercorn cognac sauce. What? On top sir? Think you'd like any peppercorn cognac sauce on Oh yes. Today? Yes, please. Perfect. Yeah, it's delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm a big fan of it. This is such an experience. Oh uh, yeah. Well, this is barbacoa for you. Oh my gosh, so good. Thank you. Sorry, can you get in there? There you go. But I will. Wait, I have an idea. Sure. It's seared on the stove. And it hooks it up. Yeah, we have our. How much are you cooking it for? It's good. That's yeah, good. Good. How we got? How we liking it? So good. It's really good. Happy anniversary! <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. Huh? I have never had an experience at a restaurant like that before. That was pretty cool. So the steak you can order on the rock, and I don't know why you wouldn't ever order it that way. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. That rock. What was the temperature of that rock? The little marble. It was like hundreds of degrees hot, like 400, 600 yeah. degrees. Yeah. So they so. heat them up. And then they put your meat. Feet, turn left onto West they put your meat Street. on it, and they do it one stage lower than what you want it. So we want it at medium well. So then they cook it to medium, and you put the steak on the slab for just a few minutes. When you first get it, they pour your sauce on it, and then you take it off the slab and put it onto your um, board. Turn left onto West Park Center Boulevard. Sorry, we're trying to get directions this is where we're going next, and. Um, and then you just eat it and dip into the sauce that's on the board. Oh, and it's the most amazing experience. And then they gave us an anniversary dessert, which was super sweet. In and, 500 feet, okay. turn left on We're gonna go find a hotel two hours away it, and uh, 
tuck ourselves into bed. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, goodness sakes. We gotta go find a hotel really quick, and then um, we're gonna end our night with you. Whoa. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.